Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be spawning in on Father's Chapel as the Hag. Now the good news is it's a small, it's a confined map. The bad news is there's multiple flashlights on their team. So based on that alone, I should have put that at the top of the staircase if I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I can get away with it at the bottom. We saw that generator change color originally. I wanted that down but I couldn't get the angle. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time if that makes sense. Setting up as a killer like the Hag requires either sacrificing generators knowing where people are it requires a lot so i know there's people on that right now if there's three i'm in trouble if there's two i can live with it we're about to find out if it's four that i've got lost a generator it's two people just based on how much of that generator was completed oh! we were successful in telling that it was only two don't know why claudette thought i wouldn't chase her and give her an m1 as well I want to put it a, a little bit to the side. Hopefully they won't see it with their flashlight. I want to funnel her through the center as well. Looks like she's gone to the right. Could take an M1 on David. Nice and easy. Alright. Now, unfortunately, there's multiple different people in different areas. He responded so well to that trap. And down goes our king. I have to make a decision to let go of a generator and hook the king. I've already let go of one generator. I got pretty good pressure on a few people. I could essentially take David to the far left near this generator. I don't think that's a bad play. I won't be able to make it like right in front of it in time because there's two people in full health. I don't know if they're both on that generator or if there's only one person. We'll put a nice snare underneath. We'll get this one off this gen. Yep, she's already off. That's nice. We're going to put one right here at this loot in case somebody decides they want to loot me at it. Somebody just dropped out of the window. Get it, will go back inside and take an M1. An M1 on him. Really good connection on his dead hard. I'll take a free pallet out of him. That's fine. I see Claudette's coming in now too on the left hand side. Let's get our snare back down. They all have flashlights, or both of them have flashlights. I have to be very careful. Claudette's blood leading around, and I know where the last guy is based off the generator. That was a really good shot. Well done. Well done. I didn't expect it to make such a courageous play. Down goes our Claudette. Somebody crouch walking in. It's white. Let's go in for him. Just take the M1. These guys are really letting me play off the fact that they're all here. David healing in between the pallet. Hide my light. Move around to him. There he is. Looking the wrong direction. Wonder if he has his dead hard back up. Let's find out. I guess I know the answer to that question. I'm going to let them save and reset the game rather than forcing the win right now. Right? This game's not gone long enough. So let's make it go a little bit longer right now. Let's take a hook over here. Claudette's been picked up. I have no traps under the hook. They'll be able to save that other guy in time. So this is a dangerous thing to do. Letting them reset the trial like this. But I think I can work my magic. I'm going to leave this pallet pulled down but not broken. Oh, it's not pulled down. I thought David would have panicked and pulled it down. He played spacing. Well done. I know Claudette's on the other side of this jungle gym. That was very unlucky. She set it off from the wrong angle, but I do have another one over here. There's a pallet on her right she didn't see. Dead hearted into a wall. Down goes our Claudette. We've got Surge on the generator. I saw a guy walking in just then. Of Dwight. Let's take an M1 on him. This means only one person could be working on a generator. This is really good for me. See if Dwight takes a bad play here. We can punish him for it. See if he tries to play the pallet. Didn't play the pallet. Broke my totem rather than saving. He could be making a very big mistake right now. Everybody's currently injured or on the ground. Now if this guy steps in a trap, he essentially loses a game for his entire team. I know he's directly in front of me to the right hand side based on where my totem was broken. So he should be out here. Let's see if we're able to find him. No crows disturbed on my right hand side. I'm going to put this here. Good save on the king. Well done. So he did run the short path. I just didn't see him. He might have been a little bit too quick for me. She's been picked up. They're probably going to group heal or make a play. I'm going to leave this one immobilize and get a little bit of setting up. Yep, they're looking for the group heal. That's good. I'm going to run over there. They can't all get healed in time. Only two of them can. Now, the smartest play is to obviously take the king. Here's the injured one. And having a good 
A good snare prep could be the difference between success and not... Obviously, Nui was going to run right through his pallet. Now, the other girl will be coming over. Claudette, let's see if she's here. She's behind me. I missed my lunch. It's okay. I got a few snares down. Really good. Really good dead hard. He went right through me then. Should have taken the teleport to Dwight. He doesn't make a medium vault on the window without an M1 in the back. All right, down he goes. So even though I lose out on a few dead hards then, what did I learn? Every single player in this game has dead hard. Listen for Claudette. She's running. She's on my left. All right, this is good. David's dead and out of the game. Other two are healing. I got time to get a little bit of preparation down. Let's do that. Prep what I refer to as hotspots, areas that are high traffic from survivors. Now this is where Surge actually comes in play because I don't like relying on just Ruin. So most of the time Ruin does mess up on me. Everybody is on full health but David. The fact that David's injured probably tells me he's working on a generator. Let's check on this. Now they're both injured. He's gonna go down. Ooh, good movement by Dwight. No David's watching me in third person from the end. Because that's what I would be doing. Waiting on the corner right. Yep, exactly what I would have been doing. He's gonna dead hard for that window so he can make it once. Might not even need to. Dead hard past me. Down goes our David. I have a decision to make. Do I pick him up and hook him? Or do I leave him down in the corner of the map? The right call is to leave him down in the corner of the map. I did get surge on the gen, so I didn't need to manually regress it. Now, I'm not going to put any snares underneath the hook. Down goes our Dwight. No scratches near that at all. Keep trying to play the real safe generator upstairs. This is good. I got two players dead. This gives me a lot of time right now to get preparation. Now we know where Claudette is. Waiting on the corner. Three snares. I am technically out of snares right now. Let's see how we go. We got one at the window as well. Now, how does Claudette respond? I got one at the window again. Remember, she has dead hard. I remember. She's gonna have to dead hard for distance. We know how that ends. And we grab her out of the locker. So because she decided to greed for the generator, she told me exactly how I needed to prep in order to counter where she was. It was okay if I went over my prep based on we knew where she currently was. Now, I'm pretty sure I have already hooked her before. I haven't. Let's put a snare in front of her. The power of the hag is she can teleport 40 meters with no add-ons and come back. That's one of our flashlights. Claudette had one as well. He crawled in between the pallet. She's probably going to wait to attempt until I pick up Dwight. That way, I can't teleport back and get her. We could have just stood there and outweighted it, but, I mean, if she 4%ed, she 4%ed. Alright, let's move Dwight over here to the hook. So what was the downfall of the survivors? First and foremost, the generators are close together on a small map, so it's a very good map for killer. Secondly, they grouped, they stacked, and they wanted to constantly heal due to the fact that I have Sloppy Butcher. Because I have Sloppy Butcher, I keep consistency on more injured targets rather than running Save the Best for Last. So you have to be very careful when you choose to group and heal. I understand the uncertainty of running out in the open against a killer like the Hag. I prepped a lot of the high traffic hot zones after they had utilized them against me before. I prepped the staircases at the beginning of the game, for example, anywhere that I thought survivors would commonly move. Anyways, guys, that's going to be an education informative Rank 1 Hag game. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Another education form of DVD Killer and Survivor content over at Twitch if you guys want to tune into the live stream. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.